Hey guys, it's your girl Katja's Tea Queen here. Thank you everyone who has comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I really thank you guys. You guys are the best. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, hello. Nice to see you again. Um, thank you guys for just, uh, you know, all the great comments that I've been reading. I, I really, really thank you guys. I'm really happy to have this platform to talk about all the things that I'm very passionate about, which is everything spiritual, everything esoteric, everything just developing our best selves you know so um i wanted to continue on with the number sequence that i've been following which are the 17s so we're going in today to uh, angel number 817 now if you've been if you're if you're been following any of my videos you would have known by, t by now that i have mentioned a few times in my videos that i have been I started out seeing my birthday, which was 817. So we're talking about that number today. <laughs> um, yeah, so 817 has been a real big game changer for me when it comes down to seeing this number. You know, um, it's really helped me in a time frame where I was at a job that I wasn't happy at. I felt like I was supposed to be doing something much more, much bigger, you know. Um, I was supposed to, I felt like I was supposed to be I felt like I was wasting my talents where I was and it was just aching at me every day I was it was not a day that I wasn't that it didn't go by that I was not thinking about quitting that job so they started sending me angel numbers and ever since then here we are <laughs> now I have this uh, platform and I'm so thankful for it um, so yeah, I started seeing this number and I started to see this number just about everywhere. I would see it on billboards, time of the clock. I would see it on receipts. I was seeing his numbers, just random numbers, random comments, random likes, billboards. I mean, everywhere I turn, I seen this number 817. <laughs> It was insane. It was kind of stalking me, you know, so um, As I started along my journey, I started to understand that um, Our spirit guides, our ancestors, our angels, they will speak with us or try to communicate with us through numbers Synchronicities, which is synchronicities are basically meaningful coincidences or more like um, they're not coincidences because I don't believe in coincidence I always believe that everything happens for divine reason and divine purpose Purpose. So when when th that number kept coming at me, you know, repetitively, I was like, okay, this is not, you know, what I'm saying, like, wait a minute, what's really going on here? Like, <laughs> so I started to I started to do some research, you know, I started to figure out what the, what do these numbers mean to me? What are they supposed to supposed to mean? Something was nigging and nugging at my intuition to try and find out what does this uh, uh, um, number actually means. So this is why you're here at this video today. <laughs> so we're in the same boat. <laughs> anyway, um, since I've actually been following the angel numbers and following my path and following the things in which I'm interested in, a lot of things have been coming up to the surface. A lot of things has been coming my way. And it's been basically solidifying everything that I've already been feeling, everything that my intuition been telling me. So this is why I've been guided more to talk more about angel numbers because it's really helped me a lot to try to understand and decipher these numbers numbers for myself and when it comes down to how spirits speak to us spirit speaks to us in all types of different ways they speak to us in symbols signs and numbers synchronicities as well sometimes you might see things like feathers everywhere because I get feathers everywhere you might see pennies you might see a, 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 a repetitive you might hear a repetitive song or you might hear a repetitive sentence over and over again from uh, other different streams of people or a certain thing that you should do you keep hearing it like I, I was just thinking about that why is it every time I turn around I keep hearing someone saying that so these are the ways in which our guides our ancestors would speak to us ancestors if you don't know what they are they are past loved ones that are part of your ancestry because they um they are part of your ancestry they can be your spirit guides as well because our family members 
also you know the ones who pass on or the ones who were even before us before we've known them they can you know sometimes want to help us along our path too and they will try to communicate through different ways as well within nature within our waking life like I realized that my ancestors love to speak to me in ways of which they like to come in like forms of butterflies or dragonflies or anything like that so um it, it, anytime I do see a dragonfly, it automatically makes me think of transformation, just like the butterfly. But it's also a way of your loved ones telling you, you know, they're here, they're with you. So anytime I see a butterfly, like I saw a butterfly right before I started this video, and I always call on my ancestors to help me, you know, so they they will automatically let me know, boom, they'll show me a butterfly, like, okay, we're here. <laughs> so... <laughs> Once you start talking to your guys, once you start acknowledging them, once you start acknowledging who your ancestors are, they will do more to get your attention, okay? They will start doing things in a repetitive way to help you on your path and to help you reach your full potential in this incarnation, right? So, okay, so I've been rambling. <laughs> that's my five minutes of rambling. Just wanted to tell you guys that. So, um, basically, that's what synchronicities, that's what um, angel numbers um basically mean when you see them over and over again it basically means they are a message it's a message to you from your guys and they want to relay it to you they want to help you along your path and they want you to be more receptive it's really up to you to be sensitive to be receptive to these messages and how spirit speaks to us and so you can be able to decipher these messages for yourself pay attention to what you were thinking about before you, you were seeing the number that also is a great indication on what the number is about right so um, we're gonna get into the number um, so a 17 as in my previous video I love to add them add them up because the numerology you add the numbers so 8 plus 1 plus 7 equals 16 and 1 plus 6 equals the number 7. So the whole vibe of the of the number 817 is the number 7. So the number 7 is said to be a very, very lucky number. Very, very lucky number. It's um, def definitely a very spiritual number. You know, all about spirituality, all about the awakening process, all about, you know, um, experience and, and expansion of your spiritual practice, all those things. <laughs> my legs hurt. I have my, have my guru thing going on. <laughs> but my legs, they can't handle it. Ugh. Anyway, um, <laughs> back on track. <laughs> okay, back on track here. Okay, um, so the number eight is definitely a karmic number of cause and effect. It also is a number of self-confidence, success. It's a number of abundance. Anytime I see the number eight, I auto automatically think about abundance because it's just, it's, 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 it's a beautiful, like, you know, thing to know that you got, like, some success coming to you you know what i'm saying <laughs> but anyway um so the number eight is all about striving forward finances like i said before with the abundance stability self-discipline and a strength giving and receiving material freedom achievements you know and then we go into the number one the number one is all about new beginnings about creation manifestation persistence of purpose taking action awakening towards your true self and as i was saying before the number seven is all about awareness about healing and he uh, being a healer it's about good luck evolution it's about um spirituality spiritual awakening spiritual expansion teaching and learning um it's about your intuition as well so it's 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 a very very high vibrational number and the fact that it's my birthday <laughs> Oh man, it's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay, so um, before I get more too deep into it, I wanted to also let you guys know because I forgot to say it in the, in the beginning of the video. I'm currently outside letting the kids play in the park, and I just wanted to do a quick video because I've been really wanting to do this to get this over with. Um, as far as getting this video out to you guys, because I'm starting to see that um, people are needing this type of you know um information so uh before i go any further i'm going to be doing a little oracle reading for more guidance and more uh clarity about why you're seeing 817 we're going to be asking our spirit guides um what other information that they have for us and how can we strive forward and just you know just basically what does it mean for us you know 
Okay, so um, I want to get into what message is okay so a 17 is a message that you're basically you're on the right path you know trust yourself um your ideas they are divinely given to you to move forward and it's basically you need to move forward with it with confidence you know you are aligning yourself with your higher purpose and calling so definitely move forward with your ideas definitely trust the guidance in which your angels your spirit guides are sending you whatever those repetitive ideas that you're getting that is what it is and you need to move forward with it with confidence because they are divinely given to you and they will work out <laughs> A17 is a message to celebrate all your achievements. Just continue to, to, to celebrate and acknowledge and, and sit back and realize how far you've come, how far you have, you know, taken yourself as far as on your life path, all the things that you endured, all the things that you went through, everything has led you to this moment. Remember that everything is working for you. So be open, live your truth and follow your heart. Follow your dreams, follow your goals, because everything that you're thinking about is exactly what spirit is trying to help you with. And it's the answer to your prayers, those repetitive ideas. Just know that you're getting a lot of help from the spiritual realm, and they are all helping you to create that life that you see for yourself. So trust it. Okay. Angel number 817 is a message from your angels and your guides and your ancestors to expect good in your life. They are sending you loving and uplifting energy to help you trust your path, to help you believe in yourself, to help you know that you can create that life that you do see for yourself, that life of abundance and spiritual and material freedom. Continue to have confidence as you are manifesting that life because they are helping you, they are guiding you, they are showing you the way. Those ideas are the way, so follow it. Know that you can strive for it, know that you can have and be and do whatever you want in this life. You have spiritual gifts, you have special skills that no one else has. It is up to you to use those skills to the optimum level within this carnation to create and be and do whatever you want. Yeah, so we're going to get into the second part of the video, which is the light oracle reading that I was going to do. I'm trying to keep it. I keep saying this in my videos all the time. I'm going to try to keep it light. I'm going to try to keep it light. And I end up going longer than I'm supposed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle because I have all of my decks here right in front of me. And I also picked uh, some gratitude stones for you guys to figure out. Uh, basically, I asked why are people seeing 817 as I picked out the rocks. And so you got the strength card. I mean, strength card. Strength stone. So I'm thinking maybe you might be a Leo. Or maybe you might be some type of fire sign. Uh, because I always think about the strength and tarot. It's usually a person that's um, a child of the sun. Which is either a fire sign. <laughs> So strength, or you might have uh, some type of fire sign in your chart somewhere. That's just an FYI, that's just an added note. But basically you got strength, you got gratitude, and you got trust. And we were saying a lot of trust earlier in the video when it comes down to seeing, um, when it comes down to trusting our path and trusting the guidance in which spirit is sending to us right and trust yourself trust the trust your path you know so um we're gonna i'm gonna shuffle and i'm gonna be right back so i finished shuffling the cards i wanted to do it off camera because it takes up a lot more space a lot more time so um we have a few cards actually from the daily guidance deck angels deck the life purpose deck and the um the messages from the animal spirit guys deck um maybe you might be seeing a, a certain animal over and over again so I just wanted to get some guidance from the animals as well so the first card that came up is energy work it says life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy your body is remarkable energy is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are active to give 
healing energy uh, to your loved ones and clients so basically this is telling me that you are a healer you are a healer you either need to, you will benefit from some energy work done with Reiki or you yourself have been interested in uh, some type of um, Reiki or learning more about Reiki or some type of energy healing with the hands um, and this is spirit's way as well if you have it or if you feel like this could be you and this resonates then you would benefit from learning more about this maybe going to some classes getting some um, more information on Reiki learning more about how you can heal your energy field these things um, is definitely being highlighted for you so definitely look into that you also got the Cupid card the Cupid card says, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your life for itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered the reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So this tells me that the reason why you're probably seeing this number 817, maybe because you're either in a relationship or you are trying to manifest the perfect type of love relationship twin flame type of soulmate relationship someone or someone that you feel like you can spend the rest of your life with um and have good times with you're trying to manifest this person into your life and this is spirit's way of telling you you need to first uh find that love within yourself and find that joy within yourself that and, and, and finding what truly makes you happy most and moving forward with that and, and therefore once you start to radiate that love within yourself and for life itself you will then attract that love that you are seeking so this is what that means and then you have joy so you know so joy is saying joy is the highest energy of all it's the magical sense that everything is possible joy springs from the appreciation appreciating the gifts within each moment joy allows you to connect to attract and create your present future moments at their highest possible levels so surrender to joy surrender to what makes you happy surrender to um doing the things that you feel called to do once you surrender to your joy once you follow your passion then those things will begin to serve you and your purpose your life purpose so you may be you may even be a water sign or you may have some type of connection to water or you may uh see dolphins you know or you might have you might like dolphins but um i'm feeling like uh you definitely need to surrender to more joy in your life follow your happiness follow your inner compass compass of joy so that way you can manifest the life that you want because joy is one of the highest vibrations along with love so when we're enjoying ourselves when we're happy when we're doing those things that you know bring us fulfillment then we are prone to attracting all those good things all over again because you whatever it is that you feel inside is what you attract on your outer world so if you're feeling joyful if you're feeling you know happiness then you will you will manifest that in your waking life so it's really time for you to surrender to your joy if there's things in your life that do not bring you joy you need to reevaluate those things and start to ask your guys and angels to help you to find ways to bring more joy and fulfillment into your life because this is going to be the, the one thing that's going to help you in manifesting that life for yourself that you see follow your dreams follow your joy follow your passions you know you definitely are a healer without a doubt you're a healer um because anything like i said with the, the whole vibration of this uh, uh number is uh, 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 spiritual spirituality healing you know um, you could probably benefit from some energy work um, as well and also your angels are sending you lots of love lots of encouragement uh, but I feel like you're trying to definitely manifest that love that twin thing that perfect relationship but you first have to find that within yourself. You first have to find that joy, fulfillment within yourself. Work on yourself and then you'll, then you'll attract that partner or that relationship that you truly deserve. So surrender to your bliss. You know? 
Know that anything is possible. You know a song just came to mind? Over the Rainbow. <laughs> uh, I think I forgot the guy's name, but it says, um, oh, man, he's Hawaiian. And over the rainbow, way up high. Yo, I love that song. <laughs> but definitely surrender to the, um, the joy and the magic of life, you know? Everything is working for you in your highest good. So we got the more cards from the Life Purpose deck. So in the Life Purpose deck, the counseling card came out. So you are a natural healer. You heal people with your words of wisdom. Maybe you are an empath or a person that people come to spread their most deepest, darkest secrets to. Or you don't even know them. They just come telling you their whole life story. That is your healing aura that they're picking up on. And they feel comfortable with you because you are a natural counselor. You are a natural advisor. You can be a life coach. You can be a, a person who does oracle readings or tarot readings or any other type of form of counseling others. You can even be a mentor or helping young kids. Whatever it is, you definitely are a counselor. It is in your uh, divine life path to do that. You know, follow your passions whatever that may be. You can even be counseling people here on YouTube. Whichever way you feel comfortable, whatever way you feel called, that is it. Follow those repetitive ideas. Follow those repetitive gut feelings that you're getting because they are leading you to your life purpose. You are a natural counselor, a natural healer. Okay? So we also got you're on the right path. So it says here, um, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So whatever it is that you're going through, you are, you are on the right path. This is your path. This is your path. This is your journey. This is something that you are meant to be doing here and now. Your guides are showing you and telling you you're on the right path. Continue to trust yourself. Continue to trust your journey. Continue to trust your gifts. Continue to trust that you have natural abilities that were given to you from birth. And they are meant here to help others and to help, you know, um, develop yourself as well. So please trust yourself. Trust your path because you are on the right path. Another card that came out, you are protected. This is Archangel Michael here. So I'm feeling like either Archangel Michael, like I was saying um, in my previous video, because I think this came up before in my one of my previous videos, because anybody seeing anything with the number seven or seven, you are protected. You know, you are definitely guided by the higher realms. So do not doubt those ideas. Do not doubt your life path. So... This is telling me, letting you know that you're being protected on whatever changes you're going through, whatever uh, um, things that you're trying to uh, uh, do for yourself. These are your guys telling you that you're protected, you're guided. Do not um, fear because they are there with you every step of the way. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says you are safe and supported while you change your career. So... You are probably in a situation now where you're debating whether you should change your career. You're trying to uh, think about what, um, what path you want to take, which, what new career endeavor you want, what new project you want to bring into fruition. Um, all those things. Um, and this is your angels telling you're protected. I feel like Archangel Michael may be one of your spirit guides because um, Archangel Michael is more is uh, one of the one of the three uh, um, angels uh, that is most closest to humans. But Michael Archangel Michael works very closely with humanity, and uh, so does uh, Archangel Sandifon and Archangel Megatron. So um, these. Th he is definitely he is the he is the protector. You see that sword? Ain't nobody touching you. You're protected on whatever changes that you're doing. Everything is gonna work out fine. There's no need to worry. Everything's working for you, not against you. And then you have the strength card. Isn't that crazy? I pulled this card and I I picked this stone before I came here. So this is strength for you. Like I feel like you know. You're in a position where you're being tested, maybe. You f you're feeling like, you know, just, just, you feeling like, like, you know, you don't know which exactly what to do. But listen, gather your inner strength. You are being guided. 
It says, everything you experience in your life has made you strong and courageous. So everything that's happened to you has made you who you are. All You may not think you have the strength. You may not think that you're strong enough. But you have everything at your disposal. Okay? Everything that you need is, is within you. You have went through and been through hell and back. Whatever it is that may be for you, you have been through it. Okay? And this is Spirit's way of telling you, you have that strength. You, 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 you know... Look at this person on this card. You charging through. You see the you see the the eagle or the 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 hawk. You a leader. The straight card also, like I was saying before, I mean you might be a fire sign or you might have fire in your chart, but you are a leader. Okay, you're a leader. You go ahead first. Don't do not doubt for one minute that you are not being protected and guided through your whole transition of this change in your life okay so now we're gonna go to the animal spirits I got 11 minutes I'm trying to stay 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 there you know so you got the emu it says this is a good time to go on an adventure so maybe you've been seeing this number because maybe you need to finally take that time for yourself to go on vacation or maybe take a, a time off or um going to different it's, it's a time for adventure for you you know it's a time for to, to get out there to do the things that you that bring you excitement and joy you know go on that trip that you've been wanting to go on you know start preparing yourself for those things that you've been wanting to do and then now you got the boar you got the boar so the boar is saying face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious so this is the strength card i think this is why this is like strength in another like <laughs> out of a whole different other deck <laughs> like this is strength again so it's like you may be going through a hard time right now maybe you might be going through some financial issues or a situation that's really challenging to you maybe even dealing with a relationship or just your career path period you know, whatever problems that you may be going through, you know, just know that you have the inner strength to overcome this. You have the strength and you are being protected. You're being protected, you know. Have that confidence. Move ahead. Move forward. Be courageous in your dreams and going for them, you know. You have the meek, the mercat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, so get support from trust from a trusted group of like-minded friends. So this is telling me if you are going through a situation with finances or you're going through something where you might need some help, this is a time frame for you to go to those people who are in your corner that you can trust, that you can that you can uh, get help from. It's time for you to go to those people and ask them for help or guidance or whatever it is, or maybe an elder you might need to go to, someone that you that you're very close to or have a good relationship with it's time to go out and ask for help you know part of giving and receiving is an equal exchange is also receiving so receive that help in which spirit is uh sending you you know who that person is you have it in your mind you know go out and seek the support that you need or maybe you might need a mentor or someone that can teach you about these things that you're interested in and you don't know how to go about it maybe that person could be that person to help you with that you know um, seeking people who are doing it, who are already doing it, that can help you. Or if it's a financial situation, because the eight is finances, so maybe it's a money situation going on. You know, who isn't having money situations lately? <laughs> but this is saying, like, definitely go to those people that you can trust. Go to those people that you can um, definitely look up to that will help you with no problem. Be open to receiving help. And then you got the penguin, okay? Um, the period of darkness that you've been um, experiencing is not passing. So, yeah, I feel like you may be going, you may have been a person that, you might have been in isolation. You might, um, either if you don't have a bunch of people that you can go to, maybe it could be someone outside of a family member or someone that you can go to. Um, but maybe you've been going through a real hard time, a hard financial situation, um, or just a just a hard time with figuring out your path or figuring out which direction to take. You've been having a hard time, and this is Spirit's way of telling you it's passing, okay? You're about to see the head, you're about to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? It is coming. 
and it's coming you know trust and this is why you need to trust this is why we're seeing trust this is why we're seeing trust you need to trust your path trust the direction even though you may not see where it's headed you may not see every step because you're not going to see every step but you need to trust spirit you need to trust yourself and your own inner wisdom that you're in the right direction okay and then you got the polar bear so the the polar bear is all about leadership so you have a bunch of leadership stuff within the spread and you are a leader okay you are a leader you are a person that people look up to for advice you know you inspire people you know you give great advice you are that type of friend that just people just really adore you know you might be an empath you may absorb other people's energies and may feel things um more deeply than others um just continue to walk into it being assertive into your leadership role walk into your purpose walk into that um that 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 higher part of yourself that is capable of being a leader because it is in your dna to be a leader okay so it says here stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachments to the outcome so maybe you know you need to set some boundaries with people Maybe you need to set some healthy boundaries with people. You need to stand up for yourself because you are a leader. You know what I'm saying? Um, and not really be... Um, not Don't hold yourself back. On, you know, once you set up something, boundaries, do not go back and apologize for your boundaries. No. I don't know if this is a relationship, but I feel like this is definitely telling you to stand up, you know, stand firm, stand strong, be the leader, you know, because you are walking into your life purpose, you know, just trust it, trust yourself, trust your, 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 your inner gut feelings and have gratitude, have gratitude. The more gratitude you admit, the more of that, that, that what you would get okay expect the good and the good will come okay guys i hope this helped you um if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe <laughs> please comment like and subscribe to this channel um it really helps the channel here grow and if you have uh any stories any comments please leave them in the comment section i always love to read your comments i hope you guys have a blessed day and evening or any time with a day that you're seeing this i wish you much love much bliss and i love you guys bye bye take care now